Hello, I have a little part of the corner of the screen magnified so that you can see text and other things. So that's why that looks weird over there. Um, I want to show you this RoboPort that I have set up here. Um, what I did is we have our RoboPort and we connected it with a wire, the uh, circuit network wires across all four of these and then you hook one up to the uh, RoboPort itself. And then from within here, I'll pull this into the little magnified area, you have these different statistics, or these different uh, options that show up. You need to check this read robot statistics. And then from there, you'll have X and Z is what we're going to be working with. You can change these values if you want them to be something different, but I just leave them alone because I'm not using that, those values for anything else. Um, but yes, we have our available logistics bots and available construction bots. And the way that I have my rules set up is that anytime there is more than 300 available logistics robots, it takes them out and throws them in an active provider, so it pushes them to my main storage area. And anytime there's more than 300 available construction robots, this filter stack inserter pulls them out and then pushes them to the general storage. And then over here, we have logistics requests. And this keeps 200 of them in there. Logist or, uh, yeah, logistics robots. This keeps 100 construction robots. So if there's ever a demand for more robots, it starts throwing them in immediately. And if there's ever more than 300 available, it starts pulling them out. Um, and I think that that all makes sense. Let me show you the, my little rule thing. So our available logistics robots is that value of X. So anytime X is greater than 300, anytime there's more than 300, it will s enable that thus it will start pulling them out. And with the one going in, any time that it's less than 300, it enables it and then it starts throwing them in there, right? Right. Now I'm going to show you a little bit of this in action and how it kind of works. So I'm going to come up here. I have a whole bunch of them all by each other right by my storage area. And that is so that when they go out, like oftentimes they're coming and dropping stuff in storage and things like that. And that way they'll come and try to charge in one of these that's close by because they try to be as efficient as possible. So they're not going to like drive all the way across the map to uh, go charge somewhere else, you know. Or oftentimes you'll be building with construction robots clear out on the edge of your map so then one of your uh, robo ports clear out here will end up with full of construction robots when in fact you need them down here in the middle you know um, so yeah right now we have oh we just had a little demand there so you can see that spike so you see the total number of available robots our logistic robots right there is what uh, about 1900 so what I'm going to do, and this is a good way to get them to all come gather back over here again from different parts of your map. Um, you can use your construction robots to build things. And I'm going to grab some bricks right here. And like this is a really good way to get all your construction robots together all back together again. <coughs> as you can very quickly have them build a whole bunch of paths. So I'm going to shift click when I do this. So it's going to ask that the robots build it. And let's just look again. We have 369 construction robots. What did I do wrong? I missed shift. Let's try that again. Oh, I see what I did. I forgot to kick that off. Anyways, it's using the construction robots from my own inventory rather than the ones on the network. I thought I'd kick that off. Sorry about that. Okay, so then you say let's build all of this. So then all these construction robots from everywhere are going to get kicked on. And we got up to 800 of them. Anyways, you can see the available number right there. And because it is greater than 300 you can see it's starting to take them out so our total number of robots is now dropping 
But that's a good way to get them to come in from other parts of the map is you can just ghost build like a big area really quickly like that. Then they're all going to come down to help with that. And then when they're done, they go and charge right close by, which is going to be right there. And then once that's done or whatever, you can come set your uh, deconstruction planner. Over here you can click tiles, and here you can click only, and then you can choose whatever the path type is. This is like the stone path and uh, then you can run that over the top of everything and it's not going to hurt anything. So there's about 10,000 right there. Try that again, I missed something, there we go. And right here we can watch our robots start to climb again. We've got about 1,200 available. Twelve hundred total, and now it's starting to drop down again because there are a bunch more available. And you can do the same thing with the logistics robots. That one's a little bit more entertaining because I have more robots. So as soon as these guys finish up here in a second, everybody's got to come in for a charge. But yes, you can do like a huge one like that to bring everybody from all around the map. But as you can see, some of these guys, because all those chargers were full, they're starting to go out to some of these other robo ports to charge up, which I don't have the little chests set up on them. Um, you could set up these chests like this on every robo port you have if you wanted. Um, and then you wouldn't have to worry about anything like this, doing the building of stuff. Um, okay, there now pretty much everybody's charged. We're down to about 340. Um, and we have about 300 available logistics robots. Something just demanded something, so that spiked again. I am going to use an upgrade planner, which is going to set these regular chests to be active providers, which is going to tell my robots to move everything. And uh, we'll get to watch them do a little dance here for a second. What do we have? 1,700 in total. So I'm going to set that right there. The construction robots will go out and do that. Then it's going to start dumping logistics robots. And you can see that number climb. And so long as the available stays under 300, it's going to keep dumping. And then as soon as it goes over, it'll start pulling. So we went from having 2,000 up to about 6,000 because that's what was needed to do it all. And uh, now they're going to be charging slowly. And then as they charge, it's dumping them back in. You can see there's like 3,500 of them available. So once again, that's over our 300 threshold. And you can adjust those thresholds to be whatever you want. And our total is now dropping again as it's pulling them back out. And that way there's not crap loads of robots sitting all over the place where you don't need them. Um, let me know if you have any questions or anything. And uh, I hope this was helpful in some way to somebody. I try to be over explanatory and give you a couple different examples of things. But yeah, that's a good way to get all your robots back together. Again, your logistics ones. And they'll all be charging right here. And then you can see them going in and being dumped into those and then they're also ready to go there again you know